Hi and welcome to GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions. Just want to do a quick review and a bit of advice on kayak paddles. And this is just based on my experience, I'm no expert. Um, but I've, I've tried lots of different paddles and expensive ones, cheap ones, middle of the road ones. So I just wanted to give you my advice. Now, first of all on the, the right here I've just got a, a bog standard, it's no name on it. Uh, uh, aluminium paddle. 210 centimeters or probably 220 centimeters long it's a standard length for a sort of a five foot eight to six foot three person plastic pad, um, plastic paddles it's a two-piece paddle and it, it will feather left and right so it's like that or the other way or straight now this paddle costs about 30 35 pound a split postage so it's certainly less than 40 pounds and it's seen as an entry level paddle now I don't really know why because it's um, it's got a good shape to the paddle it's what you call a high angle of attack paddle so it, it what, what that means is when you really put it in the water you should be at a high angle of attack as opposed to pulling it like that you're digging in both sides it's fairly stiff. You do get a little bit of movement when you use these button pulls, but you know that's just one of those things. To deal with it, and for the money, really good paddle, uh, nice and lightweight, and that's the interesting thing. Now, if you jump up to a fiberglass shafted paddle, which would be more expensive, and um, still with plastic blades or fiberglass blades, what you'll end up doing is paying probably 50, 60, 70 pounds. Yeah, it might be a little bit stiffer, but there's not a lot of giving these. You still have a push button connector, and um, so you'll still get that little bit of movement. But you're just you've got a heavier paddle for more money, and it's like oh, light weight is everything in a paddle as long as it's stiff and it doesn't flex when you're using it, then it's fine. So I would steer clear from the fiberglass middle of the road paddles. Paddles. So that's that one. If you want to go for a bit better, pay more money. Um, this is a, an Aquabound a Manta Ray Hybrid. Now it's got a hybrid because they do this in a full carbon with a full carbon paddle as well. But I wanted something a little bit more durable, and so I've gone for the. Um, it's actually a fiberglass reinforced resin. Um, these paddles, so they're lovely and stiff and really hard wearing. They've got a little bit of flex towards the end, but the overall shape retains in the water really nicely. Full carbon shaft, so it's super lightweight. It's actually if anything, a bit lighter than the aluminium one, but it's stiffer. Um, when you're paying a little bit more money, as with this Aquaband as well, we, we get a much better connection. Now this one, it's nice and easy, comes apart, you just line it up, pop it together, he says, making it look difficult, but you just line it, line it up, basically you can choose your feather 30, 45 or 60 degrees, whereas that one you just get the 60 degrees. And, uh, and then to lock it, it's just a, a, a tiny twist and that's, it feels like a one piece paddle, which is really nice. Now I paid 95 quid for this, they generally go for between, between 95 and 160 pound new. But you're getting the lightweight, the stiff shaft, the feeling of a one piece paddle, real good quality. Again, high angle of attack blades, so they're going into the water like that. And it works really well. So this is a, an Aquabound Manta Ray Hybrid, they do lots of different ones, but um, I, I went for this one because like it's durable, light, does everything I need. Just a quick point on uh, feathering, and uh, feathering is where you can move the blade. So there, that's uh, that's a 30 degrees feather, and then you've got, or a 45, sorry, and then you've got, if you move it a little bit more, you get 60 degrees. I did really use um, about 60 degrees, like that. And basically, you pull, turn, pull, turn, pull. Now the reason for this is that when you're pulling this blade, if you look at the top blade, that's pushing through the air. Especially on a windy day, if you're trying to push it through the air like that, you've got the resistance of the air against the blade. So the idea of feathering is you feather it, so as you're pushing that one in and pushing that, there's less resistance up top. That's, that's all that feathering does. Some people use it, some people don't. Some people say it makes no difference. Generally I use it. I can't paddle like that anymore, it's just the way I paddle. So there it is. My sort of quick tips on 
what kind of paddle. I would go for the cheapest ones, which are the aluminium. Um, they don't have to be branded, they are what they are. It's an aluminium tube, bit of plastic stuff on each end. They work really well. Or go, don't worry about the middle, middle of the range ones. Go for something of much better quality and pay a little bit more money for it. And there you go. This is GRVO TV, Jews Reviews, Reviews and Opinions. See you soon, bye.